Our uh, guests in this uh, next segment are uh, authors, and they join us via telephone. Melody Pittman. Melody, good morning to you. Good morning. And Angela Richards. Angela, good to see you via telephone and the photo that you sent to us. Good morning. Thanks for having us. And, and by the way, I appreciated your senses of humor in sending your headshots, by the way. I, I don't know that I responded, but uh, I did get a chuckle, so uh, thank you very much. All right, now the book. Uh, Colin, do you have the book that you can put up so that, uh, everybody can see it uh, via our uh, TV and uh, streaming audience? 100 Things to Do in West Virginia Before You Die. Now, first and foremost, I need to ask why you decided to come up with this list and uh, between the two of you, did you have to cut each other's ideas out? And was there a battle as to uh, what got uh, cut off the list and what remained? Melody, you uh, go first. Well, sure. sure. <laughs> so this is part of a national book series with Reedy Press. So they, have, they uh, focus on pretty big cities and states around the country. And it's kind of fashioned by my mentor and personal friend, Patricia Schultz's 100 Things to Do Before You Die, which came out in 2003, which has been a, book, a bestseller on the New York Times list for years and years and years. So it's a fun concept. You can also use it as a bucket list. Uh, so Angie and I, we kind of picked, like, what we wanted to write about, like, things that I love and things that she loves. You know, we kind of split those down the middle. Mm -hmm. And then we filled in the spots, what needs to go where and so forth. Um, and so we actually created our own category, which was really nice because they have a preset, um, you know, content and we were like, you know, there's a lot of things in the book or in West Virginia that really don't fit any of those molds. So they let us create a, our own category, which is called Uniquely West Virginia. We're really proud of that since we're the only ones that have that. John. Is Buy a Gillstrap book one of the, the hundred things that you have to do? I'm just self-serving. Yeah, no, I know. It's <laughs> totally self-serving. <laughs> um, <laughs> There are there are things one must do. I, I I have not read the book. Are we talking about um, adventurous things? Are we talking about restaurants you have to visit? Are we talking about campsites? What what are the There's categories? a little bit of everything. Yeah, and of course the first section is food. So we start with the most important part, right? Okay, let's hit it. Hey, give me some some of the things on the list of uh, food and and restaurants to get to before you die in West Virginia. Well, Tudors is number one because. Anybody that's from West Virginia knows Tudors, but if you're not from West Virginia, you know Biscuit World. So we're, get, we're getting one of those here in Berkeley County uh, this spring. Did are you, know you that? really? Yes, we are. Senator Jason wow. Barrett has uh, franchised a Tudors here in uh, Berkeley County. That's all. Awesome. Wow, I did not know that. Very good. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and then, of like course, West Virginia is famous for their hot dogs, right? Yeah. <laughs> West Virginia? I, I bought pepperoni rolls. Is that on the list? Absolutely. Okay, well, it goes without saying, right? <laughs> Very nice. Hey, I was asked to ask you guys this question. Is is jumping off the bridge, the Route 9 bridge, into the... Uh, uh, well, Shenandoah. Shenandoah. Is that on the list of things to do in West Virginia? Because they're about to make it illegal. No, not the Route 9 bridge, no. <laughs> oh, but it's somewhere else? Yeah. The, well, we, we talk about the um, the New River Gorge bridge. Bungee, bungee jumping? <laughs> right. Is that on the list? Or bridge day, yeah. Well, 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 bridge day with, yeah, with bridge the bridge day, yes. They they have the bait, the parachutist and the bungee jumping. Yeah, but doing the bungee jumping is what I'm asking. Is that the thing to do or just seeing it? Make well, it the I hundredth thing, thing before it. you die. <laughs> it'll be, you know, just in case it doesn't work. <laughs> exactly. That's number one hundred. <laughs> Immediate, the last thing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So the the segments are food and drink, outdoor recreation, history. Um, Angie, help me out here. I'm at a loss. Sports and recreation, music and entertainment, oh, yeah. culture and history, uh, shopping, fashion. Okay, music and, and entertainment. Shopping is kind of a hard one here, but you know, when you're yeah. talking sports and recreation, you can write a hundred things about sports and recreation in West Virginia. Mm -hmm. So we had to whittle that one down, and you know, it's really hard because you have to pick between WVU. Uh, football and Marshall football or or things of that nature so you know it got a little hairy and then you also I'm like we're both from Kanawha County and so we can't give Kanawha County all the love because we want to you know spread the love and we want to bring tourists to um, lesser known destinations that was a really big part of it so you know hopefully we can help them get some traffic in and get some dollars behind them who did you work with uh, 
or, or or did you work with anybody in the state or any or the CVBs around the state or how how did you make sure um, you had the right well, I information? Can, I can answer that one because I'm a travel writer and an influencer, and I've I've had this job for nine years, and I have a very successful blog. So I actually went or went to the internet and found tourism boards um, email address because I really don't work with very many West Virginia tourism boards, only a, a handful. And so I wrote to every single one of them, and I asked them to help. I told them what the book was about, and I got a little bit of help. And two that I can mention off the top of, you know, like just from remembering is McDowell County and Fairmont. Both of them were so nice. They're like, can we jump on a call? We want to tell you about all these great things we have. Then we had, you know, crickets, crickets, crickets from a lot. And then we also had some that were like, well, here's our visitor's guide. You know, you can look in here and see what we have. Well, my four-year-old granddaughter could do that, you know, not, not being rude, but my granddaughter could do that. So they weren't very passionate to tell their story about what was really great about them. So, um, you know, that, it was kind of a missed opportunity. So we were just kind of on our own of what we knew, what we'd seen already, and what we you know, hope to accomplish, like getting some traffic in different parts of the state. What do you think is the most surprising uh, point in in the book or thing that to do before you die? Angie, I'll let you answer that. Or the most unique? All right. The most unique, well, for me, was the Gold Palace near Moundsville. Mm-hmm. I, don't, I, think, I think that that is going to be something that most people are not going to be um, familiar with. Yeah, I don't know anything about it. It's What's the, that? Is, is that the hair of Krishna's palace? That is, it is, yes. Mm-hmm. Oh, I've and been I've there. been writing about that cool. for nine years because I've been there, and it's absolutely fascinating. It's definitely something you would not expect in West Virginia. What's so cool about it? Well, it's, it's a palace of gold, and it is where all of the um, is, is they call it Prabhupada. I don't even know how you pronounce the name, mm-hmm. but the head of the Hare Krishna. I mean, that's where he was, and he set up this beautiful place, you know, in our country. And when the you know Hare Krishnas were, I guess, on trial back in the '80s or so, '90s. Um, one of my friends in Charleston was their uh, attorney, and the, like the Beatles were by there, and people from all over the world come to that facility, and it's absolutely beautiful. I'm not a Hare Krishna, and I don't, you know, I, I like to go to religious destinations, I guess, but it's just a really cool place to visit. It's very beautiful and very opulent, really peaceful. Um, I was there, and they were having like a big Indian food festival, so that was fantastic. It's my favorite cuisine, um, so that's just a really neat thing to do. And then, like, a lot of people don't know that Fiesta Ware dishes are made in West Virginia. And the glass industry, like, you know, Blinko Glass, like, well, we have so many, like, really big-name um, industries and things here that people don't know. And then we also wanted to, you know, we're from Kanawha County. You know, it's, West Virginia is a coal state. We also mentioned a lot of things that have to do with mining that, you know, might get people interested and might change how they feel about mining because, you know, that's a kind of a hot topic. So we did want to, you know, at least – introduce the, the mining industry where you can you mm-hmm. see that Beckley exhibition mine the uh, yesterday was the anniversary of the uh, big branch mining disaster so like there's a memorial that we want to bring people to in a rural county so just things of that nature did did Susie's make the breakfast list or the food list Su- Susie didn't oh Susie didn't <laughs> it got edited out that's that's pretty or that's a pretty unique Kanawha County restaurant I think yeah yeah, and the, and you know to be honest, I went by there uh, a couple well late last year, and I used to go there for years. Susie's wasn't as impressive as it used to be. Sorry. The, the biscuits were the size of your head, but apparently yeah, not as good are. as they used to be. Though. Yeah. <laughs> Um, our guests are Angela Richards and Melody Pittman. One hundred things to do in West Virginia before you die. Was you mentioned sports? Was watching the walk to Marshall Stadium for a football game on the list? Or being part of the walk? Um, I, I know that we mentioned the walk for WVU uh, mm-hmm. into the game. And I, I know we mentioned WVU, I mean, Marshall football. The, so those are on your list in some form. Yes. Okay. Oh, yeah. All right, so that's cool. Uh, and, and regarding other, other sports in West Virginia, is there anything else that's not university-related that's sports-related that's on the list? It's got to be the Bluefield-Graham game. <laughs> oh, absolutely. So we have we have ski, you know, all the ski information and uh, like the fact that those resorts are literally four season resorts. Mm-hmm. Um, we talk. What if we talk about sports? We talk about uh, the paddle fest down here in St. Albans. The right uh, kayaking, water rafting, the Cold River course, Fest, kayaking. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The the rail trail. 
How about, yeah, is, 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 trails in West Virginia. Is the Hatfield McCoy Trail on that list? Absolutely. It, it, it gets two pages. <laughs> have you guys done the trail yourselves? I have done one of them. I okay. did one um, up in uh, McDowell County. And I'm doing one in Logan coming up very soon. There's a fellow up here, Phil McCoy, who does a uh, financial segment with us uh, each morning at, for two minutes uh, during the morning drive program. And then uh, for a half an hour on Mondays with us. And he's related to the Hatfields and the McCoys. He's a direct descendant mm-hmm. of both, which is uh, pretty oh, cool. Wow. I didn't know that. Yeah, he, we, we've done yeah, a show on the Hatfield-McCoy feud, which was uh, pretty fascinating right. stuff. His daughter did so a paper on, on, on a different topic. I, I'm a travel writer, and I travel 300 days a year, and I travel all over the country. I mentioned more than anything in West Virginia, that is my go-to now, is the Hatfield-McCoy Trail, because I think it is the most amazing trail system in the country, personally. Definitely on the East Coast, that's been kind of verified. But that is, I think, West Virginia's biggest draw right now. And when I was in McDowell County, one of the least visited counties, or used to be one of the least visited counties, and not so easy to get to, when I was there, I met a couple from Chicago, somewhere in Missouri, and Washington, as well as Scotland. I mean, it's like absolutely crazy the amount of people from around the world that visit these Hatton and McCoy trails. And they bring their own vehicles. So just think of the extent of getting your own ATVs, UTVs to these places. That's, it's amazing. That's good stuff. And the roads are extremely curvy in that part of the country. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. And uh, just just a fun fact, Jim Justice approved something and gave that a scenic highway name. And so the road is, like, really great going to that place because, I, you know, I lived in Charleston and my kids played softball and so forth, and we'd go to Logan and Hart and all those places. And the roads were horrible at that time. And he's, like, really invested – or the state of West Virginia has invested a lot of money to really fix up the roads over there. So that's real, that's been really nice. Is there anything related to the, the panhandle, eastern panhandle in the book? Or, or oh, That's Angie's specialty. Angie, run away with it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we mentioned Berkeley Springs and the baths up there, the mineral baths up mm-hmm. there, uh, Shepherdstown, um, and the, the great shopping and restaurants in Shepherdstown, uh, the Bavarian Inn, of course. Um, Harper's Ferry uh, is is one of my favorite spots to just to just walk in the evening, um, and then also Ors Family Market, the uh, the farmers market there in Martinsburg. We mentioned Ors. Um, yeah, lots of love for and, and my the favorite the casino. <laughs> the casino. <laughs> the casino. <Yeah. laughs> have you been to the casino? Yeah. Was it was that Melody who said that? I have. Yeah. I live right outside of Las Vegas. I'm a casino girl. So, <laughs> yes. so Angie took me there last fall, and I was like, oh, my gosh. Wow. I was wow. Go ahead, John. So I come to Martinsburg a lot for my other job, for my daytime job. So that's one of my favorite areas is to uh, explore explore your area. So mm-hmm. cool. I love it up there. She was a fantastic travel guide for me. Hey, right, good job. So whichever one of you t- lives uh, outside of Vegas, what are your games? You go to. Uh, I, I play any slots, honestly. I mean, you know, I'm all about the Buffalo game, and I'm all, all about the Dragon Links, and uh, really all of them. My so, husband and I casino hop like all week long, so we love it. So you're <laughs> a slots really, person. Yes, and Hollywood um, Casino, that is a really upscale casino. It is just so nice. Even if you don't gamble, you can go there and watch the entertainment and eat, and it's just a really good vibe, and I, I really loved it. Mm-hmm. So I wh- also really loved Royal Licious. Have you been to Royal Licious? Yes. 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 Royal Licious. <laughs> yeah, we mentioned that. We mentioned great. street shops. And so um, I don't know if we've mentioned this or not, but there's actually more than 100 things. There's 100 bullet you know, items, but then there's a second page for several things. So there's well over 200 things. One that we talk about are sweet shops. Mm-hmm. And so Royal Licious has some really great sweets. However, the bagels and cream cheese, oh, my God, they were amazing. Yeah. How many of these 100-plus things have the two of you actually done? All of them. You did them all? I've done quite a yeah. few. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Well, well, since she wrote some and I wrote some, there might be a couple I haven't done and a couple she hasn't done. I haven't been to Snowshoe. Like, I'm embarrassed <sighs> to say I lived in West Virginia 44 years and never went to You got to go there. <laughs> That's <laughs> nice. Yeah. That's nice. It's Even there, family, I, I'm going there this summer. For us, too. Because I love it during yeah, the summer, got, too. Yeah. We like to go in the summer as well. Yeah. The mountain, we do the mountain bikings, and I do the hammock at the lake. So, all right. So, if, if you've <laughs> done all, vibe. if you've done all one hundred things, are you afraid what might happen next? <laughs> no. You know, we have to right. so many the things. Next, time limited. Yeah. Is that what you're saying? Well, if the book says a hundred things to do before you die, <laughs> exactly. and we've done all hundred. 
Just saying. <laughs> I'm holding out. There's a couple I haven't done, so I'm holding out. All right, I'm good doing. job. <laughs> I, I'd like to get into some controversial topics, please. All right, what do you got, Harvey? <laughs> Who? Is, what? I, I got to ask: Is the Carlos Pizza the a, a real pizza, and where do you rank it at? And what's your favorite hot? Who has the best hot dog? I don't know the Carlos Pizza. Where's the Carlos Pizza, Matt? Wheeling. Wheeling. Yes. Okay. I don't. Know. Uh, I don't. I have not had the Carlos Pizza. We didn't write. But it I have heard of it. I, yeah, it, we did. It is. Yeah, I don't. Extremely. I don't think controversial. Yeah. People love it well, or hate it. I have it, a friend, and, and I love it. Yes. By the way. I have a friend who um, she grew up in Wheeling. She lives in Morgantown now. And she loves the car. Like, I've heard of it because she will pick it up and bring it home to Morgantown for dinner for her family because that's what she grew up on. She loved it. I like, um, I actually like King's Pizza in, there in Martinsburg. King's? Oh, King's Pizza is phenomenal. Yeah, like that's King's. our go to place. Yeah, I like, that's yeah, to die I like for. King's Pizza. But I also like um, Sirianni's in Davis. Oh, that's great, too. Love her good thing yeah. about that one. Yeah. Is, is, is Brothers Pizza in Charlestown on 340 still open, Matt? Yes, as far as I know. Because they've got a Sicilian pizza there that I I will drive a long way for, and I have. That, that's that's a, what makes the Carlos pizza so good or so unique or controversial. Well, they, they they cook it. And it's like a it has a really nice crust, and then they put the sauce. They cook that, and then they put this is where the controversy comes in. Right. They put the toppings on cold, and so they'll put like you'll have cheese and pepperoni or, or whatever they'll interesting put, they'll put that on afterwards and also there's a and i can't remember the other one i know some some people are listening are going to just rip me up but there's a the the de carlos there's like the carlos and then there's the other de carlos like the original one but it's got a different name now and it's out there was one downtown it's, and then there's one that's outside of the town mm-hmm. limits out towards cabela's so and and i i finally was able to try it last year and good stuff I, I loved it. I put it in the category of yes, I'm a big De Carlos fan. All right, now let's get to the I'm hot dog. To yeah. soon, so I'm going to add that to my list. Yeah, the hot dog. Matt asked who had the best hot dog in West Virginia. Well, I wrote about the hot dogs, and I know the hot dogs are a very controversial issue here. But I'm from <laughs> Kanawha County, and we have a thing called Yellow Saw here in Kanawha County. Oh, that's down. Uh, in, yeah, there's a place in Marmette that. I grew up in that had the yellow fall and they kind of passed that recipe onto a place that they're now called Chums. So that was the main focus of the hot dog page because Chums makes a delicious hot dog <laughs> and the people in that town eat there every day. I kid you not. My brother was the mayor mm-hmm. and he ate there every day. Same order every mm-hmm. single day. So um, then there's a whole other page of hot dogs. So, you know, I, I have not tried all the hot dogs Andy and I together. Uh, you know, did the hot dog. But I personally tried all the spaghettis. Oh, okay. All right, now let's talk. Uh-oh. <laughs> Just lit up, Mario. Clear out. Everybody clear out. All right, who's got, who's got the best spaghetti in West Virginia? Yeah. And when we're talking so, spaghetti, we're really talking about the red sauce here. Yes, we're talking spaghetti and meatballs. That was a meal that I had every single place. And, and it was like I was really getting sick of spaghetti after eating so many of them. I know it's hard to say. Yeah, don't say that. Uh, Jim's in Huntington won. And I was surprised by that because, you know, like I've always known about Jim's. And Muriel's up in Fairmont, I mean, that one gets so much hype and everything. And I like that one, too. I like all of them. I didn't have one that I didn't like or mm-hmm. didn't clean the plate. But Jim's was just a little bit better for me. And they have a lot of different sizes. So um, that was just the winner. Now, was it was it uh, like a sweet sauce, a little bit more of a, a spicy there's sauce? A, what did you think? There's a little smoky. Smoky and, sauce. Uh, it was, yeah, it was just different, but it wasn't like a greasy or runny or anything. Mm-hmm. And actually, when the plate came out, you know, it was kind of like picture perfect. And, and I'm thinking, I like less is more. Like, I like less sauce. You know, go to Italy, and there's very little sauce, and that's how I like it. Mm-hmm. And so it, it looked like that. But it was just a, a really, really easy to eat spaghetti, and it didn't make you like feel full. It, but it had that smokiness to it. It was really good. And you can go have a lunch portion with bread and a salad, and I think it's like seven dollars. Like it's unheard of cheap. Seven dollars? <laughs> yes, they have a lot of different portion sizes for like for around lunchtime, and that's pretty amazing. I'm gonna go spend sixty bucks on gasoline from Martinsburg to get a seven dollar <laughs> spaghetti just to hear this now. Gotta check this out. It, is there was there anything in Monroe County? That's my home county. Uh, that's why I'm asking. Monroe I, County, Angie. You Monroe, know, I'm trying to think. I have of Monroe been, County. I, would that be the the I Raptor been, Observatory so. potentially? Is usually With, the, we don't. I, we did not put that in. That did, we didn't put that in there. I, 
Yeah. Monroe County is a beautiful county. What did we put? Monroe. No, Monroe. we, we, have, we have the uh, Monroe. Bluestone Lake is probably the closest. Okay. Very good. Yeah, we had about yeah. six. We had about six or seven counties that we had nothing for. And I actually, um, I also have a podcast called 100 Things WV. And in the segment that was just released on Tuesday, I was interviewing um, Mark Lewis of Greater Parkersburg area. And I mentioned at the end of this podcast, here are seven counties or something that we did not make the book, not for lack of trying. But if anybody had any suggestions, we would love to know them because, you know, there's always an option for us to do a second book. So yeah, we will well, it's the, it's the Hanging Rock Raptor Observatory. Is, it would be my suggestion Ooh. for Monroe County. It's where they ca- okay. do the, the migratory bird count, which is eagles and gold eagles and ospreys and mm-hmm. falcons. And I, I want to beautiful. point out Matt's a prosecuting attorney, so it would be in your best interest if you ever drive through <laughs> Jefferson County to make sure something from yeah, Monroe County is on Yeah, the, the casino's in my jurisdiction, by the way. <laughs> well, so. I love raptors anyway. And when Angie and I go on road trips, she knows this. The Carolina Raptor Center in North Carolina, like, ruined me because I just, it's like Tourette's. I see eagles or, you know, uh, it's just any old thing, and I'm just, like, calling them out, you know. <laughs> so awesome. Angie's like, oh, dear God. And my husband, oh. It drives him crazy, but like I just can't unsee them. Like I just love seeing them. Well, that's great. Hey, this is this has been a lot of fun. Uh, and uh, if you could tell our listeners and our viewers where they can find 100 things to do in West Virginia before you die. Well, see, so you can order online from Reedy Press. You can order from Amazon, Books a Million, Barnes and Noble, Target. I mean, it's pretty much anywhere online. Uh, we also have a Facebook page at at 100 Things WV. And you can find our event schedule where we're doing book signings. We would love for you to come out and get a book in person, and we can chat. So uh, we're really, really excited for that. And Angie's going to be doing our signings mostly up in the panhandle because she knows her way around up there. So, Mm -hmm. yeah, please come out and see us. Angie, when will you be up here doing signings? Do you have any dates? Um, I believe we'll be in uh, Wardensville in May, and we're hoping to get something scheduled in Shepherdstown uh, in June. So something very, very nice. Well, this has uh, been a lot of fun. Thanks to both of you for being on the program. And uh, it, when the next hundred come out, let us know. We'd love to put you on for that, too. Sounds awesome. Have a great Thanks day. Thank you. Us. You too.